Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen, Hasban Allahu wa Nimu Wakil. The Lord is my life, my salvation, whom shall I fear? Ah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen, Hasban Allahu wa Nimu Wakil. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? And yet do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, thy staff they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cap ran it over, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Johnny's Bites. It's Juma Mubarak and also it's Ramadan Kareem. We want to wish our Muslim brothers and sisters happy Ramadan as you fast. Pray for Ghana and pray fervently for Ghana because we need the prayers at this time. And I will advise all my Muslim brothers and sisters to stay true to the religion, true to Islam, and stay true and focused. It's important that you do that. While we're getting ready also to wrap up the period of Lent, the period of fasting within the Anglican Communion, the Catholic, Methodist, Presby, all of, all of the churches that do the 40-day fast, I was ask you to finish hard because we're getting to Passion Tide, we're getting to Palm Sunday, and then Easter will be here, Holy Week and all of that. But this morning, I've come not to talk to you about how we are on the 24th of March or in the 24th of March and how we have not been able to secure an IMF deal and how can Oferiata have told us that if we don't get an IMF deal by the close of March, our economy will crash and how we have been begging diplomats to uh, intervene on our behalf and how we have refused to be reckless in our borrowing, we have, we have insisted in reckless borrowing and spending and living as if we are not begging anybody to support us. How we are being stubborn, not listening to anybody. And you know, the government, while in opposition, told us that we're going to move from taxation to production. Yesterday in Parliament, three bills were laid. The debate happened. It was postponed. And thank you to Parliament for not passing the three additional ministers. This is a time for the government to rethink. If you're asking us to bed in to rethink and relook at the, at the situation of the country. For them to say that, look, we can merge certain ministries. The rains are coming. We have a ministry for sanitation and water resources. We have a ministry for works and housing. Keta, uh, 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 all those places, it got flooded, tidal waves. We didn't go there to see them. We have still not gone there to see them. We promised them that the project was going to start. The sea defense was going to start. Have we started it? We have not. But we have money to be building a cathedral. The people who come and worship in the cathedral, they may as well be dead by the time we finish the cathedral. And then I had a ridiculous comment to say that all the trees around the cathedral area were smoothly tra uh, transplanted to the parks and gardens. Have you seen the parks and gardens office? Have you seen how the office looks like? A, a tree that is more than 20, 30 years, you transplant it and plant it where? Sometimes when our seniors say certain things, we listen to them and watch them and we look at it. Things are not going well. We know, but we pretend. That everything is right. Because the three ministers or four ministers who uh, are, are hanging in the balance in parliament, once you approve them, they're coming to get as gracia, as gracia money that we don't have. And then you are burdening the people. One of the, of the taxes that the government intends to impose on the people is the Excise Duty Amendment Bill 2020. To put it up, let's, let me read. Today I'm just going to read the full thing. If you didn't know, I'm informing you that if this bill goes through, put it up, put it up. If this bill goes through, this is what you are going to go through. The objective of the Excise Duty Amendment Bill 2022 is to amend the Excise Duty Act 2014, Act 878, to revise the excise tax rates for cigarettes 
and other tobacco products to conform with the economic community of West African states protocols and raise revenue to mitigate the harmful effects of these excisable products. Increase the excise duty in respect of wine, malt drinks, and spirits and impose excise duty on sweetened beverages and electronic cigarettes and electronic cigarette liquids to increase revenue. Shisha has been touched. The Economic Directive on the Harmonization of Excise Duties on Tobacco Products directs that the excise duty on tobacco products must include an ad volarem duty and a specific duty. Specifically, the ad volarem rate is required to be 50% or more, while the specific tax is required to be the minimum equivalent of 0.02 United States dollars per stick in the case of Zigre, Ziga, and Zigarillo, and the equivalent of 20 United States dollars per net kilogram for all other tobacco products. The bill seeks to amend Act 878 to implement this directive in line with Ghana being a member of the ECOWAS. There has been an increase in the use of electronic cigarettes and other smoking devices over the last decade. However, these products do not attract excise duty. Excise duty will be imposed on these products as the nicotine and other chemicals used as additives are also harmful. I agree to this one. Apart from mineral waters and more drinks, all other sweetened beverages, including processed fruit juices, do not attract excise taxes. Listen, mineral water. Malt drinks, all other sweetened beverages, including processed fruit juices, do not attract excise duty. The bill amends Act 878 to impose excise duties on these products and increase the excise duty on mineral waters and malt drinks. Change ever. Spirits have a higher alcoholic content compared to beer. However, the excise duty on spirits is lower than that of beer. To address this, the excise duty on spirits is being raised above that of beer in accordance with good practice on the imposition of excise duties. Consequentially, the excise duty on wines has been reviewed upwards. So beer. For the ease of reference and record, the descriptions of the various products are being revised to conform to the World Customs Organization Harmonized Commodity Description and Coding System. The bill amends Act 878 by substituting the first schedule with a new schedule. The rationale for the amendment is to revise the excise tax zig rates of zig rates and to other tobacco products to align with ECOWAS uh, protocols and impose new excise rate taxes on sweetened beverages. The passage of the bill will yield approximately approximately 455 million Ghana cities. Ken Oforiata, who's back we want to see? Minister responsible for finance, dated 14th of December 2022. That was when this plan was mooted. Go to the schedule for me. And you know, arrangement of the sections, first schedule of Act 878 amendment. Go, 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 quick. I want to see the table. Your Friday night may just have fallen into water. An act to amend excise to, to increase excise duty in respect of cigarettes and tobacco products, wine, malt, drinks, spirits, and to impose excise duty on sweetened beverages, including fruit juices, and on electric cigarette liquids. That is your shisha. Uh, electric, electronic cigarettes and electronic smoking devices, which have not been taxed, which I agree to. Passed by Parliament and assented to by the President. First schedule of the Act 878 amended the Excise Duty Act 2014. Act 878 is amended by the substitution of the first schedule. Go, 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 go. We don't have time. Now, this is it. Goods liable to excise duty. One, waters, including mineral waters of all description and whether or not containing added sugar or other sweetening matter or flavored and other non-alcoholic beverages falling under heading 22.01 and 22.02 of the harmonized system and custom tariffs. Water. Mineral water, 20% of the ex factory price. Aerated water, 20%. Non alcoholic beer, 20%. Energy drinks, 20%. Non alcoholic alcoholic drinks, 20%. Distilled bottled water, 17.5%. Sachet water is zero. Thank God. Fruit juices, including grape and vegetable juices, go up, go up, go up. Fermented and not containing other spirits, whether or not containing other sugar or other sweetening matter. Right? Falling under 20% of the price. Go up, go up, go up. Channel, go up quick. I want to see the thing.
more drink percentage use of local raw material and if you use 50 percent you get 20 percent if you 50 to 70 percent you get 12 uh, percent of the x factory price go up there's one i want to show you beer stout other than indigenous beer so those of you who are used to all those foreign beers wait for it it will come 47.5 percent of the x factory price if you use 50 percent of local products 50 percent of uh, 70 of, 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 of the prices, 70% of local uh, raw materials, you're getting 10% to cider beer. Those of you like all those cider beers. 20% to wines, including sparkling wine. If you have a wedding this weekend or if the law is passed, you say you are going to pop champagne, you have 50 people. Wait, this is the most interesting part. Spirits, including Akpeteshi. We have taxed, ah, we are going to tax Akpeteshi. Those of you who know how she is, is done, the guys go into the farm, they get their palm wine, they bring it, they put it in bottles, they distill it and they get it. They say X factory price of Akpeteshi. Which factory are you going to deduct the tax from? The man at Ofori Krum, or the man at Pakro, or the man at Enchi, or the man where? Ak we have taxed and we are not taxing Akpeteshi. Go up, we are taxing Snuff, 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 Zigrit. Eh, Asra, we are taxing Asra and Akpeteshi. Ken Oforiata, where did we go wrong? Mr. Kufuado, where did you go wrong? And you see, you are asking us that, oh, percent, see, snuff and other tobacco, uh, another tobacco, 20, 280 Ghana cities per kilogram. Snuff and Akpeteshi, you are taxing it. And we know that we are asking that, oh, other beers and other things and, and all of those ones. We import cassava into this country according to the statistical service, industrial cassava. We know that beer, what role beer, cassava plays in the production of beer. You, you are not producing. You, you are ready to collect. And you see, the painful part is not about the collection of the tax. Room. The painful part is the usage of the tax where our president is telling us to use local products and if you use so much local products you actually get tax rebates and you get lower tax our president is traveling around the country in a chinese chair with them in a v8 and he's telling us to buy made in ghana it's just like the nsa boss in the ashanti region who was telling about ghana and uh, angola much and they said they have printed forty thousand tickets and he was wearing a manchester united jersey to advertise a local game for us that is who we are. We have taxed and now we intend to tax Akpeteshi and Snuff. We have taxed everything. So Friday night, you want to have small beer, taxed. You want to have malt, taxed. You have to want to have malt, tax. You want to have uh, shisha, tax. You want to have Akpeteshi, tax. You want to do Snuff, tax. You want to do cigarette, tax. You want to do electronic cigarette, tax. Hey! How much tax can you take? Never Good morning. You know, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Figuratively, he bites as hard as he can. <laughs>